Dixon III's childhood was a constant struggle. I remember being caught stupid, slow, and retarded almost every single day by kids just for being in special life. I even had a teacher who told me that I would never make it in life. But a journal given to him by his mother completely turned things around. The more he wrote, the more determined he became to make it in life. And at 14, he's doing just that. I wrote my first book, which has sold over 10,000 copies. And I started motivational speaking, which I talked to over 20,000 kids. And from this experience came his next big idea. Sneaker journals are shoes kids wear and write their goals on and then focus on achieving them before they outgrow them. Every day, we see commercials about fast food and toys. But how many times do you see people advertise their goals and dreams? It's time to make a change. I cannot wait to meet this young man. Come on out, Kyle. You ladies are really beautiful as well. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you, Kyle. Yes, wow. and thank you so much for being here. You thank are you. such an inspiration. Thank you. Yes. Appreciate you it. You are. Thank you. I love that smile. Thank you. <laughs> so this whole thing started because you were being bullied every day. Yes. Tell us, what, what did that feel like? Well, actually, when I was in fourth grade, kids would call me stupid and retarded almost every single day just for being a special ed. Mm -hmm. And I even had a teacher who told me on the last day of school that I would never go anywhere in life. But when I heard Mr. Les Brown say, never let someone's opinion of you become Absolutely. a reality, that's when things started to change. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's when I noticed that as long as I believed in myself, anything can happen. That's right. You are correct. Absolutely. That's Thank right. You. So Kyle, you're 14, yes. you've already written a book, you've given motivational speeches to over 20,000 people. Wow. So what's next? Because I know there's something about a sneaker journal. Yes, I have a sneaker coming out called Sneaker Journals, and they're writable shoes kids wear so then they can focus on achieving their goals before they're all grown. That I is love so that awesome. idea. So cute. Like, so Kyle, do you see this sneaker becoming like as popular as like, like, you know, Jordans or something? Well, one thing that I really want is I want my, one of my goals is to see everyone has a pair of sneaker journals on their feet so then they're reminded of what's important to them and that's their goals. Mm -hmm. That is so awesome. What a great idea. Well, Thank you. Dwayne Edwards, the guy who designed two pairs of Air Jordans, heard your story. Thank you. And he is here. <laughs> Dwayne, come on up and meet Kyle. because he is seriously a big deal. Wait, His uh, shoe designs wait. have sold over a billion dollars worldwide. <laughs> two of his designs were worn during the Olympics and those athletes won two gold medals. And now Dwayne has something special he wants to share with you, Kyle. So Dwayne, take it away. Kyle, um, here's a box for you. Okay. Um, take a look at it and let me know what you think. Oh my God. <gasps> wow. Oh, Kyle, wow. show us what it is. Wow, wow. let's pull it out. Pull it out. Oh my God. Whoa. Those are so cool. Can you read what's written on the side? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We oh. do. How you, you feeling right now, Kyle? Whew, words can't even describe how I feel. I mean, just thank you so much, and I appreciate you, and I appreciate, you know, the directors and you guys just having me, and it's just a great experience, and I There's just want to thank you guys. There's some writing on the side. What does it say? Let's see. Work with Dwayne to get sneaker journals on the feet of kids nationwide. <laughs> <laughs>